Good afternoon, Americans. This is your favorite alien here on the afternoon of Wednesday, June 9, 2021. Stand by for commentary. Well, today's commentary is on the state of the USA. It's going the way of the Mayans. So, let me explain what I'm saying here. Uh, let me give you an example. The best Mayan city that everybody knows is Tikal. Okay? And Tikal is the biggest, the strongest of all the Mayan cities ever were. And also the most corrupt. And the most inept. And the most everything. Tikal was it. I think at peak in 800, it had... 200 and some thousand people in it. That was pretty good for that area there, you know. Wow. And it uh, would have tributes from its surrounding city-states. And if you didn't pay tribute, well, they went over there in war and they would bring you in here and uh, uh, bury you. Hey, and the thing here as in that captive when they took your heads off or hearts or whatever, you know, in there. But what happened to Takao was it was hungry for money, it was hungry for power, and it was hungry for prestige. Doesn't it sound like the USA? They did things for money, not because they needed it, just like the United States here. Your technology, it's done for money, not because the people need it or what. It's done for people like Jeff Bessels and Zucker, uh, Bill Gates, people like that that makes money. Andrew, Andrew Carnegie, Henry Ford, you know, people that make money and use other people to make money. That's what that is. Any benefits that people get out of the technology, well, that's <laughs> an oops. And that's the way the Takao was and mostly all the other Mayan cities. What happened to Takao? Well, it got a lot of people in it, just like the United States. You should, you should put a limit on your people that you have as a population, a limit. You need it. Because if you don't, you're going to go the way of all the previous civilizations and like the Mayans, especially Takao, as I'm pointing out as, a, as an example for you. They had the best of everything, the best technology, the best built things, and their city was huge. They would build sector after sector, like you have suburbs here. Well, they have suburbs there. <laughs> yeah. So from, say, AD 2 to AD 800, that's what they were doing. They became so powerful that the other city-states had to give them tribute. Money or whatever tribute they had to give them. Like the United States. Well, you give money away to other countries because you want to pursue your values for other countries. The only problem is you don't pursue your values in your own country. <laughs> and therefore, you're heading for disintegration, just like Takao was. Takao had a good aqueduct system. A good road system. In fact, it was at par with Rome. It had the best things that the Romans had. But it had corruption, just like Rome did. Uh, it had uh, people that wanted power, like the Romans did. So there was killings like the Romans had. It's like the United States over here. You have the Democrats and the Republicans who only see one eye and it's theirs. They don't see the thing through the eyes that you should see it. Like I said in other videos before, the, t the people from Takao, the rulers, only saw one light. Just like the Republicans only see one light and the Democrats only see one light. And the problem with issues is you have to see them the way it is. Some issues are left, some issues are right, and some issues are center. And you have to deal with them accordingly. The Takao's never did that. You guys have never done that. You guys have 
squandered everything from your previous administrations and restart over and do it again and then cause a problem for the administration that comes next. And here you're paying the price 244 years later because things are coming due. And that's what happened to Tikal. The climate changed. The people didn't want to pay tribute anymore. And they couldn't get enough to sustain its own population because it was growing. The United States, you don't have a limit on the population. You don't have a way to sustain your population. And times are bad. And that's what happened to Takao and the rest of the Mayan cities. By 850 AD, Takao was a ghost town. Is that what's going to happen to the territory of the United States? A ghost town? Or it was when I visited you in 2066, it was a ghost town. You had states that, uh, because of your climate change problems between 2030 and 2050, oh boy, you guys had a heck of a lot of problems. <laughs> Anyway, you won't listen to this alien, so this is what I'm saying. You're heading down the same path as the people from Takao in the Mayan city of Takao ended up 850 years and nothing to show for it. This is your favorite alien. Good day. <laughs>